for somebody that you know isn't too familiar with Texas, can you explain what the Texas Relays are? Well, the Texas Relays is it's more like a big track event, you know, from all over. It's big from all over the world. It ain't just no certain race that's everybody. You know what I'm saying? All the schools, high schools, colleges, they all come together and they compete. So when everybody come, like when, around that time, that's when all the Houston people, since we so close, like Houston, Dallas, and everybody so close to Austin, we all get together, drive down in all our cars, take all our music, all our promo material. I mean, we go down there, you know, we miss, because it's like the only change. You got everybody from 50 states down there in one city. You know what I'm saying? So it's a good chance to reach out to these people because they finna go back and spread the word. So, you know, when I, Texas Relays is big, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. Every hotel book, you ain't gonna be able to get no rooms at all. Sixth Street gonna be popping. Every club going down. And, um, I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's a good look, though. It's a, it's a great look for Texas, man. So give me some, um, like, do's and don'ts for someone at the Texas Relays. Uh, if it's their first time or, you know what I mean, seeing something like that. If it's your first time, you don't want to be out too late, first of all. Don't be out too late over there. And then second of all, you might, uh, you actually want to go to the track. Like, if you really like entertainment, you want to go. Like, go and buy your ticket. Ain't nothing, a couple, like 20, 25 hours. Go and buy your ticket and watch that because it's really entertaining. Because these people out here running, they running their lives out for real. And you got some real talented people out there. So, ain't know, I mean, it might be hot. You know, it's an open dome. So, once it might be hot, but it's a lot of good food. It's a lot of people selling selling all kind of different things out there. Like they come from all, you know, they put all their things, crafts and arts together, and sit on the side of the street, and they sell all the beads and the shirts and all different things, colognes and fragrances and stuff. So, I mean, it's all it's, it's a good thing. So, I, and don't go like try to stay downtown. Like don't go like just because it's Austin. I mean, you can go explore the city, but don't just go too many places if you want to have. Fun with the Texas Relays because it gets so packed, like you can't, you might not be able to get in. Like, it's so many people there, it's so much stuff going on. The traffic's so bad, you might be stuck in traffic two, three hours just to get to the, the stadium <laughs> for real. So, you know what I'm saying? You want to get there early, you want to have a good time. And, and I, I advise some people, I mean, like, people say, don't take sand to the beach, but that's like a type of place that you take your woman to, your kids, you know what I'm saying? They have a good time, but at nighttime, it's a different, different atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? The club, like, you don't want to take them over there. You got to leave them in the room. 